State Representative Carol Dalby, <laughs> after fairly contentious back and forth in the uh, judiciary, when she walked out with some other legislators, she turned to two legislators who she didn't realize were actually good friends of mine, and she said, somebody needs to do something about that Jan Morgan. Somebody needs to bring her under control. <laughs> and these guys looked at each other and said, yeah, right, you try. <laughs> you try. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith from which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation. All right. The helmet of salvation, folks. See, that way you know, no matter what happens in this country, no matter what happens, you're saved. That's it. And there's a great sense of peace that comes with that. So, with that, there's a very clear directive on how you are face down the back, guys. I also turn to our founding fathers when I'm trying to look at what's going on now, because our Constitution and Bill of Rights has been trampled so much, folks, yes, yes. so much, that you begin to just get desensitized. It's kind of like women that are in an abusive relationship. You know, it starts out with just verbal abuse, and the next thing you know, it leads to just a, you know, a slight shove, and, and a woman gets accustomed to that. The next thing you know, it's you know, pushing her down, hitting her in the face, and she begins to, this is how, it is supposed to be. It's how it always is. Always was. You don't realize how bad it is until you look back at where we started. Folks, our founding fathers gave us a constitutional republic and they said, if you can keep it. Now, how do you feel right now about this country that we are handing over to our children and grandchildren? How do you feel about that? How do you feel? It's falling apart. It's gone. It's being stolen. It's not gone. It's close. Parts of it. How much time do I have? Who's watching my time? It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Are we supposed to be over with at 8? Yeah. I don't well, know. Then I, okay. <laughs> I just said it's 8, so. All right. I don't know who sets the rules. We are a constitutional republic. And what our founding fathers taught us was that no matter how bad it gets, you must never give up. Never give up. Are you young people over here? Young people over here, do you know the story of our founding fathers? Hmm? Yeah, I'm teaching it in school today, are they? So, uh, so, let me just tell you this, and then you'll understand. I want you to listen to me, young folks. Listen to me. In that final battle, for our nation's independence. Now, would you think about how you would feel if you were our colonists? They were outmanned, outarmed, freezing to death, starving to death, trying to fight a well-armed, well-fed military unit. It just kept coming. They even made fun of our colonists. They said, you, you know why? Because our colonists, many of them were fighting. They had nothing left except their underwear. They were barefoot. They had no food. They didn't have ammunition. And the British said, oh, it's easy to find the colonists. Just follow the trail of blood in the snow where the ice has ripped the skin off their feet. If anybody ever in the history of the world had a right to say, this is too big. We can't win. We're out men, out our breezy death, starving to death, trying to fight a war that's impossible to win. If anybody ever had a right to say, we can't win. It's over. I'm done. It was those guys. That's it. That's it. But they didn't give up. You know why? Because they lived under tyranny. Uh -huh. And until you've lived it, maybe you don't understand how bad it is. But they understood that sometimes you have to draw that line in the sand and say, enough is enough. Stand back, government. That's it. And you have to be willing to die for it. What we need to be happening in this state 
is for good, law-abiding Arkansans to not depend on their government to fix this. You know what you need to do? You need to love your fellow man. And whether you believe in masks or don't believe in masks or believe in vaccines or don't believe in vaccines, you should go to your fellow workers at Tyson, at Walmart, and say, we are going to stand with our colleagues because we believe in liberty and we're all going to walk out. If you're going to fire them because they don't want the vaccine, then you can count me out too. Let's go. Folks, 